Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Request Tuesday. This is a tutorial series that is based on requests by you guys. So if you want to make your own request, just leave a comment on this video and I might end up making a video about it. Now today's request comes from star cz5, and their request says drum tuning smiley face. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at how you can tune your drums in FL Studio. I'm going to start off by first, um, you know, explaining how to do it, and then I'll give you some tips and guidance um, and my opinions on drum tuning. So I'll show you two different ways that you can tune your drums um, in FL Studio in this video. So I'm going to start off by tuning this hard style kick. So there's a pretty easy way to do it in FL Studio. Um, you just need to load up Edison, and then whatever drum you want to pitch, you can um, you know drag it and drop it into Edison, uh, the sample. And then once it's in Edison, you can click this icon here, uh, which is the regions icon and go down to where it says detect pitch regions. And what this does is it finds any, you know, sections in that sample that have a defined tone, um, as far as Edison can tell, and it will, you know, make those a region and it will label it as the pitch. So you can see, you know, pretty much this whole kick is labeled as F sharp two. Now the number isn't that important, what's important is the note. Um, so this kick is F sharp, and that's the pitch of this kick. So once you know what pitch your uh, drum sample is, um, by doing this, uh, what you can do is in the channel settings for that drum sample, go to the instrument properties tab, and go down to the keyboard, and right click the note, or the key for the note that it is. Um, right, right click above it in this little bit here. So this one is F sharp, uh, which is right here. And I just want to right click above F sharp. And uh, what that does is it sets the root note of the sample um, to be on that key. So the sample is F sharp. I've set the root to be F sharp. So now when I play a key, it's going to play the correct note. So if I play a C, it will play a C. If I play a G, it will play a G and so on. So once you have this done, all you have to do is play that in key with your song. Um, so let's say your song is in the key of G. Um, you know, you can just play that in the key of G, uh, in the piano roll. And it will be tuned to your track. So this method is pretty reliable, um, but it's not quite perfect. You know, if you do this and it sounds good to you, you know, the pitch of the drum sample sounds good to you, uh, you're probably good to go. But if it sounds a little bit off or very off, you'll have to either adjust it or completely re-pitch re it using uh, another method. Um, so what this does is it determines the closest um, pitch. It won't tell you if that pitch is off by, you know, a few cents or a fraction of a semitone. So sometimes, you know, you can put it in the right key and you can play it, but it still won't quite be in tune with the song because it will be off by just a few um, cents, like a fraction of a semitone. So if that is the case, you will have to um, adjust it manually until you get it to sound right. And I'll, I'll kind of show you how to do that in a moment. But if for some reason it is completely like way off with its note uh, that it labels it as, then you'll have to do the entire pitching yourself. I've never experienced it being completely off, but um, you know, it, it might be possible, I don't know. 